your weather questions. 270-9933 is the number to call. I mean, it, the weather since you've been here in, in the last two weeks. They, I don't we, want to take the blame. We, but talk, <laughs> we talk about 100-year floods. What does that mean? So it, it's an event that we could see um, uh, in 100 years. When you look at the probability, the bigger picture of it, it's not something that's going to hop up every once in a while or, or every few weeks. We're looking at the chance of it doing it every 100 years. Um, and that's really the, what we've seen the last few weeks. Some of these uh, anomalies of towns of 10 and 15 inches of rainfall just in the course of a few hours. Um, that's not something that usually happens in Wisconsin. Of course, there are other areas of the planet that can see that, but for us, it, it is a specific event. So well, you've had a lot of experience with hurricanes coming yes. from South Carolina. Yes. So this has been so unusual for us. It's been a huge flip. Now, granted, I did grow up in the Midwest, so this is a forecast that I grew up with and I'm quite comfortable with uh, living in. Uh, but the hurricanes, you know, when you're talking about that slower moving rain pattern, you do tend to see some some flooding concerns. That's as much of a concern as the tornado potential or the wind potential. But for us to see this much rain is quite rare. And, and, and 14 inches in Western Dane County in one week, and then a week later, another 14 inches correct couple, correct I mean right. that's pretty rare it is very rare for us to see that much in fact we've been breaking our, our daily rainfall totals uh, it seems like for all these small towns in Madison just back to back to back it seems like with these events and then of course we are, look like we're on track very easily to break the the August record that's not official yet because we're not at the end of the August but as we all know we're, we're well in advance of what our average is for this time <clears throat> all right let's go to Tracy in Madison she has a question for Dana go ahead Tracy Hi, Dana. My question is, on Saturday, we're planning on going up to Watoma to the Chain of Lakes. It's Wapaka, actually. It's a little north of Watoma to go boating, and we want to know if the forecast is going to be favorable for us. That's a great question. So uh, when it comes to our Saturday afternoon forecast, the good news there, most of the rain looks like it's going to be here early in the morning. Uh, my concern for you, though, Tracy, is the fact that the rain coming through overnight looks like it could be very heavy. So I would definitely check some of the roads you're going to take and the lake levels before you get on the road because we do have some flash flood watches that are in effect for Friday night and into Saturday morning for us. It goes actually through Saturday evening for that watch. So that's why we have an alert day for Saturday. I think the rain will be out of here in time for you, but the conditions may not be favorable for you to get onto the boat ramp or, or the access roads to get to that location uh, or even to get on the lake. So that's what I would check before you yeah. get on the road, but the forecast itself should be favorable check, to boating. Check 511.com. It's the state site yes. with all the traffic. Yes. Good advice. All right, let's go to Joanne in Montello. Hi, Joanne. What's your question? Hi. Um, I'm going to be traveling from Montello, Wisconsin, Saturday morning about 10 a.m. until about noon to Janesville, Wisconsin. What do you think the weather's going to be like? <laughs> well, that's south, south of us. That is. We're getting really specific. I like it. So uh, you, I think your your biggest concern there is going to be construction, getting south to Janesville. But uh, as far as your forecast goes, again, our, our rain chances do look like they're going to be through very early on Saturday. So if you're hitting the road by 10 o'clock, uh, you should be in a pretty good place. You won't need the windshield wiper blades too much other than initially to clear off the car. So it's going to be pretty much statewide or in viewing area wide, or is it going to be scattered and, and sporadic? And different places. It looks a little more scattered for us actually uh, early Saturday morning. The heaviest rainfall of the latest model runs are taking it right along that Wisconsin Illinois border. It looks like that heavy rainfall is going to come through southern Wisconsin but as far as uh, potential totals by the end of the event of course that's going to be much more scattered for us and, and you, it's very difficult going back to those major events to pinpoint which areas right. are going to see the yeah. absolute highest numbers. Let's, let's go to Bob in Janesville. Hi Bob what's your question? Uh, what is the difference in humidity and the dew point? <laughs> All right, so uh, when we're talking about humidity, it's a relationship uh, between what the dew point and the temperature is at. Because if our dew point is at 50 or 60, um, but our temperatures are in the 90s, uh, then that's not too bad. That's very comfortable. But when our dew points are at 65 and our temps are at 65, then it's going to feel stickier outside and we're talking about a fog concern. So our humidity is that relationship between the two. That humidity percentage, it's uh, a little more accurate feeling 
for us as humans for what we're going to feel on our skin. If I'm just tossing out dew point temperatures, that's not really a, a good measure for how comfortable it is outside unless you tie in the temperatures along with it. We don't have time for Deborah and DeForest, but she wanted to know how much snowfall. How <laughs> much snowfall? Well, Deborah, because the, it's the, August. Because of the Farmer's okay. Almanac. The Farmer's um, Almanac prediction came out and yes. said it was going to be cold and snowy this winter. That's the Farmer's Almanac. I know, I know. Did the Farmer's Almanac also say we're going to have record-breaking rain in no, August? Because that, that's what I think of the Farmer's Almanac. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for calling in. Yeah, thank lot, you. A lot of questions. People concerned about driving around, so yes, it sounds be like careful it. out yep. there. Yep. All right. Thanks, Dana. Yeah, of course. Anytime. And, Anytime. and she has a recap of the forecast right after this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Don't go away. Okay.